Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. If this information interests you, please press the like and subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. Now, in this video, I want to comment about somebody's comment about one of my videos. <laughs> Something I don't normally do, comment on a comment. But I think it's noteworthy enough to talk about because I've heard similar ways of, of commenting about Maitreya or Benjamin Krem, kind of similar to it, you know, kind of, you know, but not, you may be using the same words, but very, very similar. But it was entitled, the video was entitled, Maitreya 2019 Changes Coming Soon. And the comment that this person put up was, Maitreya has been saying changes coming soon since 1990. Now, first, I want to say that I wanted to thank this person for actually taking the time to comment on my videos. It, and it was something I wanted to talk about anyway, but uh, I think it's a general misunderstanding of what Benjamin Krem or Maitreya is saying about uh, change. And it was definitely not what I was talking about in the video, for instance, because in the video, I was just mainly mentioning that I that this could be the year, even though it's starting out like any other year, it could end up <clears throat> being totally different is my point. Because in 1989, this is what I referenced, was nobody was talking in the beginning of 1989 about the end of the Cold War. Nobody saw it coming. Well, I say nobody, but Maitreya actually published in Benjamin Krem's magazine, Chair International, several months prior to this, that he said that the Cold War was going to end and the, and the Berlin Wall was going to come down. Now, According to Maitreya, nothing happens by itself, so there were people obviously working behind the scenes diligently for decades to try to get this to happen, you know, even with the fact that there was probably, from their perspective even, not a lot of results going on, because we're a results-driven society, right? So, I mean, for months and months and years and years, these people were working, my, the masters were working behind the scenes, the space brothers were working behind the scenes, Maitreya was working behind the scenes, Thousands and thousands of people on both sides were working on this behind the scenes to try to end this war that was happening, you know, kind of a passive aggressive war for, you know, decades. And then all of a sudden, boop, it happened. But from the populist view, it was like it started out like any other year. And then in November, it was a totally different year. The same wall that people could get shot at for crossing there were images of thousands and thousands of people just sitting on the wall, all cheering, hugging each other, crying, because it was the end of that misery that happened, which was just a wall in Berlin. You know, families were reunited and so forth, right? And I wasn't in Europe at the time, I was in America, but it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders too. And I remember thinking this to myself, I was like, wow, peace is actually possible. That's, you know, it might not happen tomorrow, but it could happen. And how fast it happened. It was dizzying how fast it happened. And that was the point of what I was trying to make. Now, <clears throat> a side note, which is a main note, even though it's a side note, <laughs> is it's interesting that this gentleman mentioned 1990. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily when he started hearing about Maitreya or whatever, but, you know, Maitreya had been talking about change long before then. But in 1990, according to Maitreya, was when... That same energy that was used to maintain and and maintain the Cold War when it finally, in quotation marks, ended, that energy went right out and, as Maitreya said, found another womb. And it went right into the markets of the world. And then the markets started building and building and building and building and building until where it's the markets have really taken over. Our president isn't in charge of this country. It's the markets. <laughs> you know, he does everything based on what the markets are telling him to do. And as Maitreya would say, any leader that follows market forces is leading his people to eventual disaster because the markets are blind. But Benjamin Krem's master, I think, expressed it really well, too. He said, commercialization is like, <clears throat> it's like it has its hand on the throat of humanity, choking out any creative or generous thought. And so since the markets have really taken over, 
you know, so many people are making money in the markets. If you know what you're doing, you can really make a lot of money. If you don't know what you're doing, you can lose a lot of money, right? But <clears throat> there's so there's a certain percentage of people that are just making money just more than you could ever dream of, right? And then the majority of us, it's getting harder and harder to live. You know, I mean, the cost of food's going up, the cost of gasoline's going up, the cost of health care is going up, the cost to raise a child's going up, the cost of you know, uh, sending your kid to school is going up. The cost of, you know, everything is going up, but yet our income might be going up a little bit, but the value of the dollar, for instance, going down. So make it, you know, you know, a hundred thousand dollars a year or $50,000 a year, which was pretty good, you know, 20 years ago or 30 years ago is not quite the same amount of money as it was back then. It doesn't buy the same amount. So then you either have to go into debt to, to maintain the same livelihood or get another job, right? So you look at it, We've been kind of in survival mode for the last 30 years <clears throat> because of commercialization. So is my, has my Treya been saying that change is coming soon? Absolutely. Now, part of it's because of the inertia of humanity. Part of it's because of uh, the way that the markets have been. And there's a lot of other things going on, too, that we're unaware of. But from the master's point of view, there's been tremendous changes in the last 30 years. There's been even more changes in life and the way that we look at things in the since the last in the last hundred years, we don't relate to each other the same way that we did back then. We don't see the world or ourselves that same way that we did back in 1900. It just doesn't work like that. So, if you look at it from a perspective, there's been a lot of changes. Now, does that mean that it's the end all and be all of everything? No, we still have a lot more to do right? Of course, right? We have to end hunger. We have to solve the environmental problems, but that's humanity's problem to deal with. The masters like Maitreya can only show the way, right? Now, after saying all of this, again, I want to thank this person for their comment because it gives me something to talk about in a video and talk about another side of the story. So I'm not trying to be defensive. I'm just trying to give more information about it. But I wanted to leave everyone with a quote from Maitreya that really kind of talks about this in a lot of ways. And that's how I'm going to end the video. But here we go. Quote, when you see and hear me, you will realize that you have known for long the truths which I utter. These simple truths, my friends, underlie all existence. Sharing and justice, brotherhood and freedom are not new concepts. From the dawn of time, mankind has linked his aspiration to these beckoning stars. Now, my friends, shall we anchor them in the world. But, and as always, take action. Help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Have a great day.